Today in Madden 23, I am taking every single NFL player and putting them back into their prime overall. Then I will simulate an entire NFL season to see what happens. And as you can see in front of you right now, we have an entire roster of prime players. Now, not all of these players are on their former teams. You saw Christian McCaffrey. He was on the Panthers, but players like Vaughn Miller, J.J. Watt, still with their respective teams. J.J. Watt obviously retired now, but for Madden 23, he's active. We have AP back on the Minnesota Vikings as a 99 overall, but then there's Tom Brady, who's still on the Buccaneers as a 99 overall. I downloaded this custom roster. I'm going to show you all how to get this roster towards the end of this video if you would like to download it, but we're just going to take a look at some of the best players that have gone back to their prime form, like Julio Jones back at a 98, JPP back on my Giants at a 97, Justin Houston as a 97, Aaron Rodgers back in his prime at a 97. Then you have players like Adamic and Sue at a 97, back with the Lions, Jimmy Graham back with the Saints at a 97, 97 overall Russell Wilson, Broncos country, maybe we'll ride this year if Russell Wilson can actually be a good quarterback, Robert Quinn's a 97, Tyreek, TJ Watt, these guys are pretty high overall right now, so that doesn't really matter, but OBJ's a 96 overall, back Back with the Giants, D Hop is with the Cardinals still. Matt Ryan still with the Colts, but he's looking like MVP. Matt Ryan as a 96 overall. Jason Peters 96 overall right now in his prime. Tyron Matthew as a 95. Josh Norman in his prime. Back with the Panthers. So this roster is going to be a ton of fun, and I can't wait to see who wins the Super Bowl. And we're going to take a look at a couple of teams back in their prime right now. A couple players, I should say, I want to jump in with to see if they can actually turn back the clock to their former MVP or Pro Bowl level status. And the first guy we're watching, I mentioned him earlier, Russell Wilson. And already it was an 11-yard drive. They got great field position. We'll jump in again with Russell, but leads a touchdown drive. The Denver Broncos were so bad last year because they expected to have this Russell Wilson on their team, not the Russell Wilson they got. He was horrible last year. Now he's back in his prime. Can he look like that Super Bowl winning quarterback? And what a throw to Jerry Judy for the reception. But I would like to know in the comments down below, now that everybody's back in their prime, who could you see winning Offensive Player of the Year? MVP. Can a prime Adrian Peterson win an MVP? Win an Offensive Player of the Year? Can a prime J.J. Watt win Defensive Player of the Year? He has three of those. He's going to be competing with a prime Aaron Donald. This should be really, really interesting when it comes to the awards as well. I think Melvin Gordon ended up on the Chiefs at the end of the year last year, if I'm not mistaken. There's Javante Williams, and Javante gets down to the two. Let's see it. Russell Wilson on third down. Can you get your team into the end zone? Third and goal from the two. He also has superstar ability. I don't know if Russ still has a superstar ability in regular Madden, but they're actually got the set up for three. The other team we're jumping in with here in week one, and the player we want to check out here is Adrian Peterson back in his prime as 99 overall AP. We have to hope that the Vikings are going to give the ball to Adrian Peterson here. Justin Jefferson going to get to the 25-yard line. Can we see an Adrian Peterson touchdown? Adrian Peterson, probably the best running back during my childhood, that late 2000s, early 2010s. The man was unreal. He made that catch for a gain of three, but then a false start call makes him lose five yards, and Adrian Peterson almost had the edge. If he got out there, he was gone. There was green grass in front of him right there, but a good tackle. Not sure who made it from the Packers to make it a third and eight. Can they continue the drive here. Kirk going to go to AP, but AP can't get to the first down marker. Eight weeks into the season, and the Chiefs are leading the AFC at 6-1, but the Broncos with a prime Russell Wilson are 6-2. That's the Russ they wanted to see. The Chargers are 5-2. The Colts with a prime Matt Ryan are 5-3. The Bengals are 5-3. The Raiders are 4-3, and, and the Titans are 4-3. And, and in the NFC, we have a prime Michael Thomas. We have a prime Alvin Kamara, so they're 6-2. Obviously, Drew Brees not here. No retired players are on these rosters, if you guys did not see that before. The Bucks though, with a prime Brady. They're also 6-2. OBJ back on the Giants. Make this team and JPP a 6-2 Giants team. The Packers are 6-2. The Rams are 5-2. The Cowboys are 5-3. And, and the Eagles are 4-3. The passing yardage leaders so far this year. Not surprised Tom Brady is at number one with 18 touchdowns and six picks. A prime Andy Dalton. Still with the Saints here for Madden 23 rosters. Not Derek Carr because free agency does not come into play until Madden 24. Is in second place. 19 touchdowns, eight picks. 
Alex, a prime Aaron Rodgers. He's putting up prime Aaron Rodgers numbers. We have Dak Prescott, and there is Russell Wilson at five. A prime Jonathan Taylor has put up 1,100 rushing yards so far this year. That's insane, 11 touchdowns. Joe Mixon in second with 22 touchdowns. Derrick Henry in third. Najee in fourth with 760 yards, seven touchdowns. And Zeke in his prime, 752, 13 touchdowns. A prime Emmanuel Sanders, didn't even know he was on the Steelers, but apparently is on this roster, has 907 yards, eight touchdowns, 887 yards for Cooper Cup. Randall Cobb, 814. A prime Julio, 803. Michael Thomas in his prime, not injured, 775, five touchdowns. And a prime Juju, over 750. And a prime and Dominican Sue is leading the league in sacks with nine and a half. Aaron Donald with nine and a half. And then JJ Watt in his prime with eight. The best record in the AFC goes to the Kansas City Chiefs at 14 and three. Patriots 12 and five. 11 and six are the Broncos. 10 and seven Colts led by Matt Ryan. They get in. The prime Raiders are nine and eight. The Bills are nine and eight. And the Ravens get in at nine and eight. The Saints hold on the entire year going 12 and five. First in the NFC. They do tie with the Bucks. That is tough for the Buccaneers getting a wild card spot because the Saints get the tie breaker for number one in the NFC. Cowboys 11 and 6, Rams 11 and 6, a prime Matthew Stafford, Eagles 11 and 6, and the Giants 11 and 6, followed by the Vikings to get in. Leading the league in passing yards is Tom Brady, held it pretty much the entire year. Not a great touchdown interception ratio though. 42 touchdowns, 20 picks, over 5,000 passing yards. Dak over 5,000. Carr with the Raiders over 5,000. Jalen just under 5,000, same thing for Justin Herbert. Jonathan Taylor was a 2,000 yard rusher with 2,064 Four yards, 20 touchdowns. Derrick Henry, 1,885 yards on the Titans and 19 touchdowns. Zeke with 1,671 yards, but 28 touchdowns. Mixon also had 28 touchdowns. And CMC with 1,628 yards, 14 touchdowns. And Cooper Cup continues to dominate Madden simulations. Over 2,160 receiving yards, 16 touchdowns. Randall Cobb over 1,500. Prime with the Packers. Emmanuel Sanders on the Steelers in third, Michael Thomas in fourth, and Prime Julio in fifth. And leading the league in sacks is Khalil Mack of the Chargers, 19 and a half, Miles Garrett, 19 and a half, Vaughn Miller at 19, and Dominican Sue at 18.5, TJ Watt at 18, and then JJ Watt at 15 and a half, with Aaron Donald at 17. And here is the playoff bracket for this season. And for this game, let's go ahead and let's check out Prime Matt Ryan versus Prime Derek Carr and the Raiders. We are going to be jumping into one playoff game per round. We're starting with this playoff game. We're going to watch about a drive or so. Super sim the game, see who moves on to the next round. And we have Prime JT with Prime Matt Ryan. Jonathan Taylor over 2,000 rushing yards. Matt Ryan had a good year too. So the Colts could be a threat in the playoffs. They have a home playoff game. And there goes Jonathan Taylor up to about the 47. It can definitely cause some issues for this AFC side of the bracket. They are Super Bowl contenders. Jonathan Taylor again. Oh, he had somebody back there. The Raiders had somebody in the secondary. I thought Jonathan Taylor was gone. Now to Jonathan Taylor again. Jonathan Taylor is just finding the holes. Every run is for so many yards. And Jonathan Taylor, what a run that was for 23. And from the two-yard line, this one will actually go to a prime Naeem Hines. Jonathan Taylor need a little bit of a breather. And they score. Now let's go ahead and see who is going to win this game. Is it Carr and the Raiders? Or is it the Colts and Matt Ryan? And the Raiders are up 14-7. Colts make it 14-10. Raiders make it a seven-point game. Matty Ice going to be able to tie it for the Colts. Raiders looking to take the lead. They take the lead by seven. Colts tie it up. We're in overtime. Playoff overtime rules in effect. They both score touchdowns. And then I think the Raiders wind up winning it with a game-winning field goal. And what a game that was. I accidentally skipped the divisional round matchups. But now we have the championship games. We have Chiefs-Ravens in the AFC and Cowboys-Bucks in the NFC. Let's jump in with Cowboys-Bucks and see what a prime Brady can do. So the Cowboys unrealistically are back in the NFC championship game. And Tom Brady is back. Back in a championship game. So we have one thing that's realistic, one thing that's not. But Brady's either going to be playing for his eighth Super Bowl championship or the Cowboys are going to go for their first Lombardi since the 90s. And now Tom's at the 25 yard line. And Brady, what's he going to look to do? He's got so much time in the pocket. He's going to fire towards the end zone. And Godwin had a touchdown, but his forward progress kind of pulled him back out of the end zone. And they're down at the two. Prime 99 Brady is not messing around. He's got playoff Lenny in the backfield. He had a lot of hole up the middle, but he decides to walk in towards the right for the touchdown. Let's see if the Cowboys can win this game or if they'll choke like they always do in the playoffs right now. 21-3 Brady. I am not surprised in the slightest. The Bucs are absolutely destroying 
the Cowboys. Cowboys are actually trying to come back though, but it's 35 to nine Buccaneers. Cowboys are done here. Brady is going to be playing for his eighth Super Bowl championship, and I don't like the chances of whoever he faces. And in the Super Bowl, it is Bucks Ravens. So we're going to start with Lamar Jackson on offense first. And I don't actually know what Lamar's rating is. I'm not sure what his highest overall Madden rating was at some point. I would imagine in his MVP season, it was high 90s. I think he's a 96. I feel like I saw it before on the roster. I think Lamar's a 96 overall. Other than that, though, not sure exactly a lot of other players on the Ravens that have really gone up in overall, thanks to their prime. Will the Ravens have to punt? Or will they complete this pass and Lamar overthrows Mark Andrews? Now let's see what happens in this Super Bowl. They can stop a prime Brady once. Will they stop him again? Right now, it's a nothing-nothing game. Brady gets on the board, though. He wants his eighth Lombardi. Up 10-0, 17-0. A prime Tom Brady. Who can expect anything less? But the Ravens are trying to come back. We'll jump in right here. They're second and five from the seven. Tom started off 17-0. Will Tom Brady choke in his prime in the Super Bowl? Can the Ravens get a touchdown to make this game a three-point game? J.K. Dobbins to the outside, and he's tackled at about the three. And now from the three-yard line, what are they looking to do? Mark Andrews scores the touchdown, and it is a three-point game. No, he doesn't. The Ravens turn him over, but now he has the ball again, and it looks like they're able to take out the entire clock. And Brady almost choked this away. Was up 17-0, to but a prime Tom Brady. It just doesn't matter. He's going to win the Super Bowl. And the podium is all set up for Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. And for the eighth and final time, because Brady will not be in Madden 20, Four. This will be his final time hoisting the Lombardi Trophy. And there it is. Super Bowl MVP goes to Carlton Davis. Jalen Hurts gets NFL MVP. Bill Belichick, a.k.a. Peter Gaffney, gets Coach of the Year for the Patriots. Cooper Cup, Offensive Player of the Year. TJ Watt, though, Defensive Player of the Year. Not his brother, JJ, in his prime. Offensive and Defensive Rookie of the Year don't matter too much here. But we have Jamison Williams and Aiden Hutchinson. But those guys are just in their first years. Now, as far as I know, this roster is only on PS5. So what you're going to do is go to Community Files, Download Files, Search Prime. You're going to search that right now. And then once you go ahead and do that, you're going to sort this by likes. And you're going to click the first one made by Stephen H. And Prime with 16 likes is the roster I use. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, make sure to check out my other channels. And also make sure to follow me over on my social media. But I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.